Hey everybody, as you know, Isotope RX11 dropped recently, and the big feature for podcast editors is the Overhaul Dialog Isolate module, which it brings RX's noise and reverb reduction into your DAW as a real-time plugin. The question is, how well does it perform compared to the competition? And stick around to the end when I share one thing that will probably have a bigger impact on your decision than just the noise and reverb reduction. I wanted to get this video out quickly to help you hear what differences there are and if it makes sense for you to upgrade. In this video, I compare Dialog Isolate to Supertone Clear, Ascentize DX Revive Pro, and Cedar Audio Voice X. I chose these three plugins because they all offer noise and reverb reduction in real time. Supertone Clear, it's the most comparable in terms of control, since both provide control over the noise and reverb reduction independently. VoiceX and DX Revive, they just have a singular control. These three plugins are also leading the pack for this particular use. This is meant to be a true apples to apples comparison. So let's dive in. I'm going to start by playing the original unprocessed audio, followed by five cleaned up clips. With Dialog Isolate, I used the same settings and only changed the quality setting from good to best, so you can decide if there's enough of a difference to justify the upgrade to RX11 Advanced, which is the only way to get the best setting. I should also note that on my M1 Mac Studio, that Hindenburg isn't able to run Dialog Isolate on the best setting in real time. I don't know if that is a Hindenburg issue or just kind of reflective of the amount of resources need to run this plugin in real time. Uh, we were focused on really changing the way that organizations protected themselves uh, with respect to application security. We saw a pretty big gap in the market where there was an opportunity to get closer to protecting applications and APIs by being directly in those things rather than around them. So we started a company. Uh, we built uh, quite a bit of notoriety. We, uh, we were focused on really changing the way that organizations protected themselves uh, with respect to application security. We saw a pretty big gap in the market where there was an opportunity to get closer to protecting applications and APIs by being directly in those things rather than around them. So we started a company. Uh, we built uh, quite a bit of notoriety. We, uh, we were focused on really changing the way that organizations protected themselves uh, with respect to application security. We saw a pretty big gap in the market where there was an opportunity to get closer to protecting applications and APIs by being directly in those things rather than around them. So we started a company. Uh, we built uh, quite a bit of notoriety. We, uh, we were focused on really changing the way that organizations protected themselves uh, with respect to application security. We saw a pretty big gap in the market where there was an opportunity to get closer to protecting applications and APIs by being directly in those things rather than around them. So we started a company. Uh, we built uh, quite a bit of notoriety. We, uh, we were focused on really changing the way that organizations protected themselves uh, with respect to application security. We saw a pretty big gap in the market where there was an opportunity to get closer to protecting applications and APIs by being directly in those things rather than around them. So we started a company. Uh, we built uh, quite a bit of notoriety. We, uh, we were focused on really changing the way that organizations protected themselves uh, with respect to application security. We saw a pretty big gap in the market where there was an opportunity to get closer to protecting applications and APIs by being directly in those things rather than around them. So we started a company. Uh, we built uh, quite a bit of notoriety. We And this is where it gets really fascinating because the energy system <clears throat> requires all sources of energy. And if you look at the energy demand and the profile, we're short on energy. And then we start taking certain supplies offline and then signaling you don't want certain supplies because of the emissions factor. 
you then create a consequence of you're not going to have a reliable energy system. And this is where it gets really fascinating because the energy system <clears throat> requires all sources of energy. And if you look at the energy demand and the profile, we're short on energy. And then we start taking certain supplies offline and then signaling you don't want certain supplies because of the emissions factor. You then create a consequence of you're not going to have a reliable energy system. And this is where it gets really fascinating because the energy system <clears throat> requires all sources of energy. And if you look at the energy demand and the profile, we're short on energy. And then we start taking certain supplies offline and then signaling you don't want certain supplies because of the emissions factor. You then create a consequence of you're not going to have a reliable energy system. And this is where it gets really fascinating because the energy system <clears throat> requires all sources of energy. And if you look at the energy demand and the profile, we're short on energy. And then we start taking certain supplies offline and then signaling you don't want certain supplies because of the emissions factor. You then create a consequence of you're not going to have a reliable energy system. And this is where it gets really fascinating because the energy system <clears throat> requires all sources of energy. And if you look at the energy demand and the profile, we're short on energy. And then we start taking certain supplies offline and then signaling you don't want certain supplies because of the emissions factor. You then create a consequence of you're not going to have a reliable energy system. And this is where it gets really fascinating because the energy system <clears throat> requires all sources of energy. And if you look at the energy demand and the profile, we're short on energy. And then we start taking certain supplies offline and then signaling you don't want certain supplies because of the emissions factor. You then create a consequence of you're not going to have a reliable energy system. No, I think it's no. Well, I think you hear it. But in the congressional side, I mean, I think the administration has been strangely silent about it. I mean, it's very important in our relationship with India, but they don't really talk about it. They just want to talk about, you know, net zero carbon. And I think for the Indians, this is this is very important. And, you know, I, I could see at our conference in India, they were surprised. Not they heard about it from the U.S. companies, but they didn't hear about it from the U.S. government. And it, no, I think it's no. Well, I think you hear it. But in the congressional side, I mean, I think the administration has been strangely silent about it. I mean, it's very important in our relationship with India, but they don't really talk about it. They just want to talk about, you know, net zero carbon. And I think for the Indians, this is this is very important. And, you know, I, I could see at our conference in India, they were surprised. Not they heard about it from the US companies, but they didn't hear about it from the US government. And it, no, I think it's, no, well, I think you hear it, but in the congressional side, I mean, I think the administration has been strangely silent about it. I mean, it's very important in our relationship with India, but they don't really talk about it. They just want to talk about, you know, net zero carbon. And I think for the Indians, this is this is very important. And, you know, I, I could see at our conference in India, they were surprised. Not they heard about it from the U.S. companies, but they didn't hear about it from the U.S. government. And it, No, I think it's no. Well, I think you hear it. But in the congressional side, I mean, I think the administration has been strangely silent about it. I mean, it's very important in our relationship with India, but they don't really talk about it. They just want to talk about, you know, net zero carbon. And I think for the Indians, this is this is very important. And, you know, I, I could see at our conference in India, they were surprised. Not they heard about it from the U.S. companies, but they didn't hear about it from the U.S. government. And it, no, I think it's no. Well, I think you hear it, but in the congressional side, I mean, I think the administration has been strangely silent about it. I mean, it's very important in our relationship with India, but they don't really talk about it. They just want to talk about, you know, net zero carbon. And I think for the Indians, this is this is very important. And, you know, I, I could see at our conference in India, they were surprised. 
not they heard about it from the U.S. companies, but they didn't hear about it from the U.S. government. And it... no, I think it's no. Well, I think you hear it, but in the congressional side, I mean, I think the administration has been strangely silent about it. I mean, it's very important in our relationship with India, but they don't really talk about it. They just want to talk about, you know, net zero carbon. And I think for the Indians, this is this is very important. And, you know, I, I could see at our conference in India, they were surprised. Not they heard about it from the U.S. companies, but they didn't hear about it from the U.S. government. And it... So there you have it. Three clips showing how well these plugins do when dealing with challenging recordings. If they do well in this setting, they'll do well with better recordings. I prefer to gauge the strength of a plugin like this based on how well they sound when pushed to extremes. So what do you think? How did Dialog Isolate do? Is there a difference between the good and best quality? And is it worthy of upgrading to RX Advanced for that difference? Which plugins did you think did best? Which did you think did worst? My personal feelings are that Dialog Isolate, it's, it's on par with the competition, but it doesn't really do anything better than the others. And that's what I would, would have needed to be able to justify this upgrade. I feel like Isotope took too long, and many of us have already found tools that do what Dialog Isolate does. In creating these files, I found that you need to play with the sensitivity slider and use your ears. To my ears, if I'm applying a decent amount of reverb reduction, I didn't like the results until I turned the sensitivity down. If you're using noise reduction alone, you can dial up the intensity and it remains pretty transparent. But things do become a little overprocessed pretty quickly as you increase the sensitivity and increase the reverb reduction at least to my ears. Let me pause real quick because I've got a quick ask for you. Let me know what you think of this video. Give it a thumbs up if you find it helpful and share it with others and subscribe if you so choose. Now, here's the one thing you need to know about Dialog Isolate. When I started rendering out these clips, I noticed something. The best setting was taking significantly longer than the good setting. So I decided to test it out on a longer piece of audio to see how much of a penalty there is for the best setting. I took a 40 minute piece of audio. Well, technically it's 39 minutes and 42 seconds long. Here are the render times on that audio file with no other processing from fastest to slowest. The original clip was 39 minutes and 42 seconds. The render time for Supertone Clear, 4 minutes 11 seconds. Voice X, 6 minutes 11 seconds. Dialog Isolate on the good setting, 7 minutes and 10 seconds. DX Revive Pro, 7 minutes 16 seconds. Dialog Isolate on the best setting, 27 minutes and 54 seconds. Yikes. Dialog Isolate on best takes 567% longer. Is it that much better? It takes 284% longer than the next slowest, which is DX Revive Pro. Let's take a look at the same thing, except this time it's on a full two-person episode with full mixing and everything. This episode is 47 minutes and three seconds long. And again, this is from shortest to longest render times. Clear, 18 minutes, 26 seconds. DX Revive Pro, 23 minutes, 36 seconds. Voice X, 27 minutes, 29 seconds. Dialog Isolate Good Setting, 39 minutes and 56 seconds. And Dialog Isolate on the Best Setting, 46 minutes and 33 seconds. In this example, Dialog Isolate on the Best Setting renders the episode 30 seconds faster than real time. Dialog Isolate on the Good Setting didn't perform much better, rendering the episode 6.5 minutes faster than on the Best Setting. But over twice as long as Clear took. Now that you know this, does it impact your decision on upgrading? Are you okay with longer render times for the quality that Dialog Isolate provides? Let me know in the comments below. I'll be doing some more testing with RX, 
probably more specifically with the new repair assistant to see how useful or powerful that is these days. And if you're interested in learning more about noise reduction, please check out this playlist where I have more videos that tackle that topic. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you next time.